Back in June of this year, we saw the foldable e-ink device from e-ink's Tokyo R&D Lab. It was a little bit beta, they didn't really have the housing down straight, though all the touch functions worked and everything, but the buttons were just kind of painted on there, it wasn't really ready to go by any means. The note taking layer worked, the capacitive layer worked, but since then there have been some improvements as you can see right here. They've added an actual housing shell, and the thing is looking a lot more fit and finished. You can see right here that the same 10.3 inch display exists once you open it up of course. The capacitive swipes work just fine and this time they've added an all new hinge system where it's actually a lot more robust. And you can see here that there is a little bit of reflectivity but overall that just comes with the inherent nature of using electronic devices. The hinge right here you can see is very very strong, they've added a couple gears to prevent it from moving too fast, too slow and overextending itself. Even more so, at the top they've added a light bar. Because of the logistical difficulties of adding LEDs inside the bezel of a foldable device, they've added a light bar so that doesn't matter how you fold it, there's going to be even light distribution. There is still a little bit of trouble in the very center, you see it's a little bit blacked out. They do have to do a little bit more R&D, hence the name Tokyo R&D for e-ink, so they have a little ways to go. But it's nice to see that only in a month and a half short time they've come this far. If you guys want to see more on this, keep staying tuned to youtube.com slash reader where we will cover more on the foldable e-ink note-taking Wacom from e-inks Tokyo R&D lab. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter.